detective friends. I'm excited to look at another word problem with you today. So what we'll do is we will read this together to make sense of our story, to see what's going on in the story. And then we'll look at a strategy that you could use to solve this problem. So first things first, follow along as I read this to you. Devin arrives at the farmer's market with 403 carrots to sell. He sells 159 carrots. How many carrots does Devin have left? Hmm, are those wheels turning? Are you already thinking about how you might solve it? So listen, we're going to reread it. And this time, every time we read the sentence, we're going to think really carefully about what's going on in just that sentence. So our first sentence says, Devin arrives at the farmer's market with 403 carrots to sell. So I'm going to write the number 403. And beneath it, I'm going to write the word carrots because that is what Devin has in his story. That's what our number is telling us. And thinking ahead, they've already told us that he's going to be selling at least some of these carrots. So let's go back to the next sentence to see what happened next. He sells 159 carrots. So if you're selling something, think about when you go to a store. If the store is selling you something, that means that the store or that person is giving that thing away. So if he sold the carrots, what would you do? Is that adding or subtracting? It's subtracting because he's giving them away. So I'm gonna write my minus sign and he sold 159 carrots. So over here, I'm going to say carrots, but I'm not just going to say carrots, I'm gonna say carrots sold, so I can be a little bit more specific. And then finally, we have one more sentence to look at. Our question says, how many carrots does Devin have left? So 403 minus 159 will give us our answer. How many I will call that box carrots left over. Alrighty. Now that we have our math equation, let's look at a strategy that we could use. But I notice that Ms. Brown said could use because there are lots of different strategies that you could use to solve this, but we're just going to be looking at one today. So I want to make sure that we have plenty of room because I'm actually going to rewrite just our math equation on the other side so that we have plenty of room to solve this problem. So I'm going to rewrite my problem. I have 403 minus 159 equals block or blank. So have you ever used a picture or math manipulatives to solve a problem? What we're going to do today is I actually have magnetic math manipulatives. So we are going to solve this kind of like using a picture, except I'm going to use these magnetic math manipulatives, but I'm also going to make sure that I label them. So first things first, if we're subtracting, we're going to start by building our first number, 403. So count with me as we build this number. 100, 200, see, 300, 400. And I can even write that label. You could write the number 100 beneath each of these, or you can just write 400 to show that you have 400 all together. 
So if I look at my tens place, there's a zero in my tens place. So I don't have to count out any tens, but I have three ones. So count out my ones with me. I'm at 400. Now I have 401, 402, 403. But I'm just gonna write three to show that I have three ones. So now that I have built my 403, I can even draw little check marks beneath these to keep track of my work to show that I built it. But the next thing that I'm going to need to do is to subtract 159. So I'm actually going to start off by trying to subtract my ones. I need to subtract nine ones. So let's look at our ones together. But look, what do you notice? I only have three ones. What do you guys think I should do if I need some more ones? If you're watching this with your video, if you're watching this video with somebody in your home, you can even pause and talk to them about what you think you might do. Hmm. Are you back with me? So I'm thinking usually I should get my ones from my 10, but I don't have any 10s. So if I don't have any 10s, where would I look next? my hundreds. So I'm going to take one of my hundreds to decompose it into 10 tens. So I'm even just going to scoot this over just a little bit to make sure that we have plenty of room. So I need some ones. So I'm going to take my 10 and we are going to count, I'm sorry, my 100 and we are going to count out 10 tens together. Count with me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, oops. And finally, you guys are being so patient, 100. So one of the things that we talked about is making sure that our picture matches our label. So I have three hundreds and 10 tens, and that still is 400 altogether, but I'm gonna make sure that my label is super accurate. I'm gonna label these as my 300, and now, my 10 tens over here are 100. So now that I have broken up my 100, do I finally have some ones? So look, I'm gonna take this one and move it over here. Take this 10 and move it over here to my ones. So look, if I take my 10 and move it over here, how many tens do I have now? Nine tens, but we can count just to be sure. Count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I'm gonna erase that to show that now I have 90. And look over here. I don't have three ones anymore. How many ones do I have? I have 13 ones. So what I could do if I wanted to is I could get out my ones and I could break up my 10 into 10 ones, but I can also keep it just like this to show that all together I have 13. So remember, what do we have to subtract next? Nine ones. So go ahead and count with me. I'm gonna mark off my nine ones by Xing off next to the 10 rod. One, I can even actually mark right on it. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So look, how many ones do you guys have left? You have four ones. I don't have 13 ones anymore. I just have four. Now I have four ones. So now let's look over here. I subtracted by nine. Next, let's look at my tens place. Next, I need to subtract five tens. Count with me. I can even totally move these off. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So look, how many tens do I have left? I have 10, 20, 30, 40, or four tens. So I'm going to X out my 90 to show that I don't have 90 anymore. I just have 40, which means now that I have subtracted my five tens, do you guys see what's the last thing I have to do? I need to subtract my one, my 100, I mean. So I'm going to put a check mark beneath my one and I'm going to take my 100 and subtract it, which means I don't have 300, I have 100, 200. So look, do you guys see our answer? Because I was writing labels as I went, my answer is actually in my labels. I have 200, let's make sure that this shows up. I have 200 plus 40 plus four is gonna give me my answer. But I could also count everything up if I wanted to, just to make sure. So let's go ahead and count this up. Count with me. 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 241, 242, 243, 244. Because remember, I X those off. I have 200, 44 carats left. And I'm even gonna write the word carats because that's what good mathematicians do. Alrighty, mathematicians, I hope that you enjoyed this video and really got to stretch your brain. So anytime you're using subtraction in the hundreds, this is a strategy you could use. Bye friends.